Today on the Automotive Life, we are reviewing a car that's a little bit different. Most of you probably aren't really interested in this, nor have ever heard of it in fact. But I feel it's a car that more people should know about because it is that good. Now personally, I haven't driven this car that much. So we actually need someone that has more experience with this car to tell us more about it, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Now I'm about to review this car, but I personally haven't really driven it that much, which is why I'm introducing my grandfather. I call him Papa. Papa, welcome to the channel. Thank you. <laughs> now my grandfather actually driven this car for a very long time. You've probably done what, five, 600 kilometers on this yeah, car? Yeah, maybe a thousand plus. Yeah. Thousand plus kilometers. I go on a regular basis to Wheatbank to attend to our matters day. Yeah. And I really enjoyed this car. So as you can see, he obviously has a lot more experience with this car than I have. Now, on the longer distances, on the longer journeys, on the open roads, how does this car handle? Like, with the handling, the acceleration, does, don't you feel it a little bit short on power? No, not at all. It's got ample power and it drives very well. Yeah, this car has a 1.6 litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine. It makes 115 kilowatts, 155 brake horsepower and 240 newton meters of torque. This one has a six-speed automatic gearbox. It's capable of 0 to 100 in 9.2 seconds and the top speed they claim it around 220 kilometers per hour. So it's not a bad performer. How's the consumption on this car on the open roads? I find it quite, uh, quite light on fuel. It's not a guzzler like those big machines, but it drives like a big car. Although it's a middle-sized motor car, but uh, when I travel with it, you won't feel that it's a medium car. You will feel it travels like a big car. Yes. This car is actually the size of a BMW 5 Series, Mercedes-Benz E-Class. It's slightly bigger than the almost entry levels like the C-Class and 3 Series, yeah. but not quite as big as a 7 Series or an S-Class. So it's a very nice size car. It's very spacious in here also, i got to add. The trunk space yeah. on this car is fantastic as well. I'm sure you felt the trunk with your packing and everything, luggage oh, yes. and that. No, it's got a, a very nice comfortable trunk where you can put in most of your things. And uh, what should I say? I enjoy the car. Yeah. Okay, give me one reason why this car you think is better than my 335. It's very silent and it's giving enough power. Obviously, you can't compare with a 335. That car is designed for high speeds. As this car is a good family saloon, I would call. And uh, it travels nice. For my age, I would enjoy this car against a big powerful machine like a 335 that's a good point yeah another point i like about this car is it's very comfortable to drive it's got a nice soft ride like you said it's silent it's a very relaxing car to drive the steering is nice and light the accelerator is doesn't give like too sharp feedback nor the brakes so when you get on the accelerator and get on the brakes it's nice and smooth motion it doesn't just abrupt you know yeah smooth right. and you won't even notice how the gears are changing smooth gearbox as well it's got that's a, a nice six point. speed gearbox but when you're traveling you will only realize that you're already on the on the sixth gear without uh, you know if you if you're not accelerating very hard and you're traveling normal it drives uh, it kicks over very very nicely yeah that's nice about these cars but i think the um i think these peugeots are really underrated definitely underrated yeah. especially in south africa especially in south africa yeah. and they are actually really great value for money if we take this one for example this car is a 2013 model. It costs almost about half the price of a 2013 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. That's an even smaller car yeah. than this. And this car comes standard with so many features and so many extras. Just to name a few, it comes standard with navigation, a lovely big screen. It actually has paddle shifters, Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth, keyless entry, keyless go. All of that is standard, even heads up display. All of that, that's right. All of that are extras on a C-Class. Once you want to spec up the C-Class a bit more, it costs way more than double of this car. Yes, definitely. But a new one of this this type is close to 400,000. Yeah, four, 500,000, that's right. 400,000, I think. And uh, this one you're buying slightly used. The resale values are not there because it's not so mm -hmm. popular in South Africa. Really? But once you start driving one, you'd fall in love with the car. It's, you really realize that, it's, that you're getting good value for your money. Definitely. Depreciation is a good thing and a bad thing on this car because if you buy it new, you're going to lose too much of money. Yeah. But then you buy it second hand, 
you're getting such fantastic value for your money. Look, there's another Peugeot. Yeah. They see, they are such nice little cars. You really got to drive one to experience it. And you know, you don't, you, you can't judge it before you drive it because they really That's move, it, yeah. they really move so well. Yeah, and the 508 is an in-between size. Eh? I mean, it's not a small one, it's the bigger one. It's a bigger one, that's right. right. Normally, I drive any car from the floor since we are motor dealers, but this particular video I'm enjoying, I'll try and yeah, use it for a longer period. This is a very nice car, I don't blame you. This, yeah. Especially since it's light on fuel and that it's a very comfortable car to use. And plus, the price range is not so high, so you don't really feel sorry when you drive it. You can just drive it wherever. No, you can. You can enjoy a car like this. You don't have to keep on looking after the car. Then you know this car is, is just ideal for my purpose. Hundred percent. And I'm sure anybody else that will drive one of these will enjoy it. Eh? Definitely, no doubt. You, yeah. Now Peugeot are a French make of cars, so they do things a little bit differently. For example, listen to the noise the car makes when you don't have your seatbelt on. Now compare this to German cars. This sounds like music. Yeah. That's so pleasant. It's just like Correct. it's. It yeah. sounds like it has manners when it's asking you, please just put your seatbelt on. Not abrupt. Yeah. Get your seatbelt on, or else. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice car. Yeah. So for a bigger car, this is a front-wheel drive car. This Peugeot. So the power yeah. goes to the front of the car. But again, the engine is there. So it has more grip because the engine's heavy, it pushes down on the front wheels. And also the power that they give this car, I feel it's perfect for the car. It's not overpowered and it's not underpowered also. No, that's what's amazing about 1600 Turbo. This particular car, you, if you're driving it and if you don't know, you will think it's a bigger motor. In the meanwhile, it's not such a big motor, but it drives so well. Definitely uh, does. I wouldn't call this car underpowered. You shouldn't compare this with these big heavy cars that uh, that are designed for a lot of power. But as a family saloon, it's an excellent motor car. Okay, Papa, thanks for joining us on our channel. You're Thank, welcome. Thanks for letting us lend your car just for a bit to do a little review on it. No problem. Mm, I think I'd give this Peugeot 508 an 8 out of 10. I really like it that much. It's really a great car to use. Light on fuel, good power, good looks excellent space the interior is fantastic on this car as well and it's i can't really lovely partial leather seats that's nice yeah. also it's uh, very cool when you drive your body won't uh, perspire with this car it's true it's very ideal well made car no doubt definitely definitely peugeot's have always been well made cars yeah. further than that i don't think we can really say much more about this car it's just a fantastic car and if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and you want to see more of my papa, make sure to let us know down in the comment section below and also stay tuned for more.